Okay, so this is recording. And just as a reminder that I did post uh, all the questions that we're going through, I put it, I posted it as an announcement. So if you go to announcements in Canvas, and then scroll down to um, Math 0405 review, you open that announcement and there's a, a PDF that you can click on and, and download. And, and I also uh, emailed it also. So today we're covering problems 16 through 30. So we start with number 16, uh, translating sentences into equations and then solving the equations. So for number 16, it says twice the difference of a number and seven is equal to negative eight. Okay. So twice the difference of a number and seven is equal to negative eight. And this is how you translate these words into an equation. Twice the difference of a number and seven is equal to negative eight. And then once we have this set up, we can solve this for x. So two times x gives me two x and two times negative seven gives me negative 14 equals to negative eight. Now add 14 to both sides. And this gives you two x is equal to positive six. And now divide both sides by two. And we get x is equal to three. And before I start scrolling down, uh, let me know if you're still writing anything down because I want to make sure you uh, write down what you need. I'm good. Okay. Thanks, dude. Okay, number 17 says the difference of three times a number and five times the same number is four. Find the number. So the difference of three times a number and five times the same number is four. Again, the difference of three times a number and five times that same number is four. And now we solve this for x. So three x minus five x is negative two x. That equals to four and divide both sides by negative two. So X is equal to negative two. Number 18. Evaluate 
five X squared minus X plus one or X equals to negative two. So wherever we see an X, we want to put in the value negative two. So this will be five times negative two squared minus negative two plus one. This gives us five times, okay, negative two squared is negative two times negative two, which is a positive four. Negative times negative gives me a positive two and plus one. Five times four is 20 uh, plus, well, two plus one to give me three. And now 20 plus three gives me 23. A 19, evaluate. Two X minus Y over three times Z, where X equals to three, Y equals to negative one, and Z equals to negative four. Now we substitute, say two times X, X is three minus Y is negative one, all over three times Z, which is negative four. So now this equals for the numerator, two times three gives me six and negative times negative gives me a positive one over three times negative four is negative 12. And now this is six plus one is seven over negative 12. And I can't write the negative out front. So for 19, you wind up with negative seven twelfths. Okay, number 20, perform the indicator operations. So we're gonna to have to, we're adding polynomials. So for 20, we have x squared minus seven x minus two plus three <clears throat> x squared minus seven x plus five. And now we combine like terms. So one X squared plus three X squared gives me four X squared. And cross through when, when I'm done with that. Negative seven X plus a negative seven X gives me a negative 14 X. And now negative two plus five gives me a positive three. So we wind up with four X squared minus 14 X plus three.
Okay, for 21, we have 2x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus x squared minus x minus 4. So this equals, first copy down, 2x squared plus 2x plus 1. And now distribute this negative times everything in parentheses. So negative times a positive gives me a negative x squared. Negative times negative gives me a positive x. Negative times negative gives me a positive four. And now we're going to combine like terms. So we're looking for everything with the x squared, so two x squared minus one x squared leaves me just one x squared and cross that out. Okay, two x plus one x equals three x. And then one plus four gives me five. So I wind up with x squared minus three, x squared minus three x plus five. Is this right in the answer sheet? X squared minus three x plus five. I got x squared, x squared plus, they got x squared minus. Uh -huh. Okay, I wrote down the wrong sign. Okay, 2x plus 1x is a positive 3x. Where did I get minus from? Okay, so the answer is x squared plus 3x plus 5. x squared plus 3x plus 5. Number 22. 8x squared minus 4x plus 1 minus 10x squared plus 4. Okay, this equals, bring down your 8x squared minus 4x plus 1. Distribute the negative. Negative times positive gives me a negative 10x squared. And then negative times a positive 4 gives me a negative 4. Now come on like terms. 8x squared minus 10x squared is negative 2x squared. Minus 4x, nothing to combine with that. So just bring that down. And then 1 plus a negative 4 gives me a negative 3. So yes, we get negative 2x squared minus 4x minus 3. Twenty-three. Have to multiply. Three x plus seven y times five x minus four y. Okay, 
Okay, let's distribute the three X first. So three X times five X gives me 15 X squared. Three X times negative four Y gives me a negative 12 X Y. Now seven Y times five X gives me a positive 35 X Y. 7y times negative 4y gives me a negative 28y squared. Now we can combine these two terms and copy everything else down. So 15x squared, okay, I have negative 12 plus 35 is going to be a positive. 23 x y minus 28 y squared. Twenty-four. Find the area of a triangle with a base of twelve centimeters and a height of seven centimeters. So, area of a triangle is one half the base times the height, and they tell us the base is twelve centimeters and the height is seven centimeters. So now let's substitute. Area equals one half times the base times the height. So this is one half times 12 gives me six centimeters times seven centimeters. And now six times seven is 42. Centimeters times centimeters is centimeters squared. 24, the area is 42 centimeters squared. Point five, find the area of a rectangle, rectangular field, which is 55 meters long and 37 meters wide. The area of a rectangle is length times width. Where the length is 55 meters. And the width is 37 meters. So area is going to be 55 meters times 37 meters. And get your calculator and multiply 55 times 37. Fifty-five times two thousand thirty-five meters squared. Or 26 it says find the exact circumference and the exact area of a circle 
with a diameter of 17 inches. When it says exact, we're going to use pi. We're not going to give it a value. <clears throat> and then for the radius, it's going to be a fraction. So we got a circle. So the circumference of a circle is two times pi times r. And then uh, the area is pi r squared. And then they tell us that the diameter is 17 inches. So the radius is half of this. So just divide 17 by two and leave that as a fraction. So now coming back to the circumference equals two times pi times r, which is 17 over two inches. And write this two as a fraction also. So the mass circumference equals two times 17 is 34 pi inches for the numerator. For the denominator, one times two is two. So my circumference is 34 divided by two is 17. Bring down the pi and then inches. A for the area, area equals pi times 17 over two squared, because that's our radius. So the area equals pi times uh, 17 squared is 289 over two squared, which is four. and just rewrite this as 289 over four times pi. So that's your circumference and that's your area. Twenty-seven. Approximate the circumference and area of a circle with a radius of seven inches and use pi as three. And circumference of a circle is two times pi times r. Area is pi r squared. They tell us here that the radius is seven inches. And then for pi, we want to use three. So the circumference is going to be two times pi times r, seven inches. So two times three is six. Six times seven is 42 inches for the circumference. For the area, pi, which is three, and then r, which is the radius, is seven inches squared. Area equals to three times, okay, seven squared is 49 and inches squared. And now three times 49 gives us 147 inches squared. A28, simplify, you have negative 12x 
minus 10 plus five times three X minus two. So this equals, distribute the negative, negative times positive is negative 12 X plus 10 and five times three X gives me 15 X and five times negative two gives me negative 10. Now combine like terms, negative 12 X plus 15 X is three X and 10 minus 10 is zero. So for 28 we're left with just three X. Okay, 29, negative three times X minus one minus four X. So let's distribute the negative three. Negative three times X gives me negative three X. Negative three times negative one gives me a positive three. And then bring down minus four X. Now combine like terms, negative three X, plus a negative four X gives me a negative seven X plus three. Okay, last problem. Number 30 is three x minus four times x plus two plus one. This equals three x, negative four times x is negative four x, negative times positive gives me a negative two plus one. Now combine like terms, three x minus four x is negative one, x and negative two plus one is negative one. I missed something. Nick, go back for a second. Oh, good grief. All right. Negative four times a positive two is not a negative two, it's a negative eight. Okay, so this should be negative eight. And then plus one, all right. Then we combine like terms, right? negative eight plus one gives me a, a negative seven. Okay, that is it for today. Any questions, anybody? Samantha, V, or Imani? Anything. No, sir. No? No, no sir. Y'all find this helpful? Yes. You know? Yes, sir. Okay, good, good, good. Well, that is it for this week. But if you have questions, I will be online Friday at our regular time. And um, I'm online every day from 10 to 11 if you have questions. And if that time doesn't work, you can still send an email and we can set up a time to go through this. And so next Monday, we'll pick up with problems for well, the next 15, but it's 31 through 45. Okay. All right. So Thank you. Have a good day. You too. All right. Thanks. Bye, sir.